Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. It's been a while, and I mean a while since I've done a video. And I kind of was moving, doing moving, because I used to be in my apartment, as everyone knows. And then I moved into my condo. Well, I got new lighting. I got a nice, nice vanity lighting thing and it's amazing. I love it. This is where I, I have like a vanity set up and everything and it literally is my dream and I have my dream come true now and I have like my own little space as you call it. Brett goes downstairs in the man cave cave he calls it even though that's just our downstairs living room and stuff and then there's me I have this whole bedroom to myself I have my computer over here for video games of course and then just some pictures and my vanity mirror and I will actually show you that at the end of the video um but I am gonna do a get ready with me because it has been so long, and I just, today I feel like doing makeup even though it is my day off. Um, I will show you what I'm going to be using. I already primed, and that was with this bad guy right here. And it's the Tarte Por Poreless Mattifying Primer. This stuff, guys, is just awesome. I just love it. I don't know why. It's my oily skin. I'm oily, but I'm not oily. Um, from like here and here and here. So my T-zone's oily. Um, my girls at Sephora, when they were doing my makeup for my birthday, they gave me a foundation and I bought it right afterwards because I actually did like how it wore. Um, the clay, the new clay foundation from Tarte, the clay stick foundation. And I am in fair beige. This stuff is like really good wearing. And yeah, it's not mattifying. But it does work. Um, what you could do, and I've done this before, but I'm not going to do it today. But um, where your oily parts are, I would put like a mattifying um, foundation on those parts. And then put this in the places that need moisture. Um, I never do that just because I usually don't do that, but sometimes I do if it's really hot out. And so I'm going to show you, and really, I use a lot of this, and you really aren't, I mean, I'll do a couple swipes on each, and yeah, but we'll get to that. And then I'm going to be using two other new products. I've gotten a lot of new products since I last filmed. Um, and when I mean a lot, I mean like <laughs> a shitload. Um, see, I work in JCPenney. And I usually work in men's. And so it's not a huge problem. But then... Some days I get scheduled in women's and I, Sephora is like literally kitty corner from me. So I get tempted way too much and way more than I should. Um, so let's see, I'm going to be using Roller Lash. This stuff is good, especially to lengthen your lashes. I'm going to be using both, both of mine just because, you know, Okay, so, let's see. My phone doesn't want to focus. Oh, well. Um, but the bristles on this, there's two sides. There's one side for volume, one side for length. And then, of course, this is, well, this is the new packaging. Or the, the limited edition unicorn packaging. But, I mean, you can get the regular one. I just like how holographic it is. and whew. But, this is another one I'm going to use. I'm going to do Lights, Camera, Lashes by Tarte. 
And let's see. I should have went in order, but I'm not going to go in order because that's just how I do. Um, for my under eyes, because I do have like dark circles underneath, I'm going to be using the Bright Future Corrector from Sephora, the Sephora brand. This is a very like a cheaper option if you want to do Sephora products. My dog is just sitting there. Um, but this is only twelve dollars. It works just as well as others. So, and this is for dark circle correcting. So this is in peach. And then surprisingly, this has been my go-to um, dark circle concealer and concealer in general for the past two months and it's just amazing it's drugstore it's affordable it's the Maybelline age rewind erase eraser for dark circles and as you can see I've gone through a lot but and then it has this little applicator here and you just pat pat as I'll show you and then I'll be using my little thing, Goulet, or however you say that, um, little NARS thing that I've got with my VIB Rouge. And I have a couple of these because girls from the Facebook thing, well, thing, um, Facebook group, um, they gave me there's a girl on there she gave me literally like three or four of these she sent me three or four of these because I said I wanted a big one but um they I couldn't afford the big one and so she actually before Christmas she sent me these for like a Christmas gift and I loved it I got it right before Christmas and it was just awesome little gift I loved it and thank you and let's see and then I'll be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow definer to do my crap of brows like literally these things are botched to hell and I'll try my best and if I don't really knock it out of the park with my brows I'm sorry like these are botched to hell so getting them perfect is hard and then I think I'll use this, the Anastasia Beverly Hills, the Nicole Glow Kit. I can't say her last name, so I'm not going to say it and botch it. But here, this is another one of the new items that I got. And this was right before Christmas, or not right before Christmas, what am I saying? Um, right before probably early March I got this. I can't remember when this came out, but... It was the last one, like, and I didn't mean to do it. Like, honest to God, I didn't mean to do it. And the girls in Sephora know I didn't mean to do it. Um, but I accidentally thought that this was the tester because there was, I couldn't find the other one. So I thought, oh, well, this is the tester. Meanwhile, the tester was right in front of me over here. But I ended up swatching it and they're like, well, are you going to get it? Because we can't sell it to anyone else. I'm like, well, duh. I was going to I'm just and I'm now I'm more tempted to do it so I got this little ooh, pretty thing mm. anyway and then for setting spray I use these are the two or the three that I have on my vanity right now um, but I'm gonna be using the D slick because of my oily skin I have the urban decay D slick I have the pixie makeup fix fixing mist. This stuff is good if you're on a budget. This is actually really good if you're on a budget. This stuff is very, very, smells very good too. Um, I wouldn't put it up to the Milani setting spray, but this is pretty good. And then this is another impulse that I had. I just, from Tati, I watched her do like a little setting spray video and I just, from the mist, I kind of got to, yeah, this here, and I'm going to show you how fine the mist is, but it's the Glam Glow Set Glow Setter setting spray, and just watch. Like, 
And it smells really good too. It smells like, honestly, it smells like their um, hydrating mask. Their one that smells like coconut tanning. I call it the one that smells like tanning lotion because it does. Um, but we're going to do that. We're going to use the D-Slick. And I have my brushes here. I made these. They're so cute. They're out of ball mason jars. They're just adorable. Um, <laughs> um, I have two of these for my brushes and I'm going to need a different thing to put my brushes in because I keep on getting new brushes and it's not fitting. They're, they're starting to just not fit. So I have to get like a bigger thing. Um, if you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments because th these are cute and all, but they're starting to get flowed over. Like, yeah. And this is a long video, I know, and I'm sorry, but actually, no, it's not. It's only 11 minutes yet. But, um, and this is going to be not as edited as my other videos because, hey, why not? And plus... It's been a while, so, you know. So, where I was at is I'm gonna be use I'm not gonna be using a beauty blender. I'm gonna be using this face brush by Real Techniques. And that's just to buff in, I don't, I don't know. I just haven't been in the mood for using beauty blenders. I have no clue why, but, eh. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to use my setting brush from Real Techniques for my highlight. Um, I'm going to be using my Deluxe Crease Brush from... I'm, oh, I'm using a lot of them. I'll be using... Yep, I'll be using all Real Techniques except for the blush brush. Uh, okay. Alright then. Um, so let's get started. So I'm going to be using first, I'm going to be using the Sephora. And just dot it around my eye. And for that, I'm going to do the Royal and Langnickel Complexion Brush and just tap it. With brushes, you really can use them for anything. I use them for anything that I see fit. Mm -hmm. And then, like I said, just tap it on. This is in the shade Fair. And sometimes I just use it to kind of go around there. And once again, I'll use my complexion brush. And I'm usually not this red, but it's summer and the sun, and sun. Sun does this to me. Also, for primer, I forgot to mention this, but for primer for eyes, I'm going to use the Kat Von D eye primer. Got this at TJ Maxx for 10 bucks. So, you know. <sighs> anyway. Okay, so now I'm going with the Tarte stick and just line. Like I said, I line a lot, but then again, I need a lot of coverage. So, yeah. 
Okay. Now, I'll be using my expert face brush and just buffering it in. It's very easy to blend out with your with a brush or with a blending sponge, makeup sponge. Either way, you're good. And that Kat Von D eye primer is also like a color corrector as well. So, color correct my eyes, my yellow eyes. And in this lighting, actually you really can't tell on camera, but I look like a ghost, like literal ghost in this lighting because it's white LED lights. Hmm. Okay, so now I am, and people like doing their eyes before foundation, but I really don't, I don't get crazy with it, so I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm going to do everything else, then my <coughs> eyes. My dog, yay, sorry about that. So, somebody from City of Bismarck for, was here to inspect the condo, so that's why she's barking. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Now... I am going, uh, should I do my eyebrows and then, no. I'm going to do my eyes first. So I'm going to be using the Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm going to be doing like a purpley eye, I think. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I will be. So, I'm going to dip my brush in the um, hmm, Ventian Red. And this does have a lot of fallout so you, and a lot of pigment, so you want to make sure. And, by the way, I know I will, it will look messy, but I'm going to clean it up afterwards like I'll be cleaning it up with concealer better and then hurt myself in the process And I just put that in the crease of my eye. And now I'm going to go in with, um, I'm just going to call it Fresco because I don't want to say the name. It's too complicated. Oh. Hey. 
And like I said, I'll be cleaning it up. My eye, I'm gonna be cleaning up because that's a lot of fallout. Okay. And then I'm gonna go in a little bit with Vermeer. Just a tiny bit for sparkle, because I want sparkly today. And also I will be blending it out. As you can see, it's not... Okay. And I'm gonna clean this eye up. Along with this one. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to go in first with the roller lash. I will be cleaning up my whole eye at this point. Actually, that isn't bad. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. And then this eye. And then I'll be going in with the lights, camera flashes. Or light, there's lights, camera flashes, and there's lashes. Let's get back to that. And no, I never use fake lashes because I just think it's. A hassle to do and I'd rather just put on mascara And then I'm going to go down my lash line. Okay. So that's my eyes. simple today. So let's see. 
Now I'm gonna do my brows. Do not say anything. I... Like I said, they're hard to... There's one, because there's one that has an arch and one that doesn't. This doesn't have an arch, so I gotta carefully make one. gonna be perfect but oh well okay now I'm gonna do and I'm gonna do the kitty cat some of like the glow getter 143 I have to just use as eyeshadows honestly they're way too dark for me so I end up you just using them as eyeshadows Last but not least, lips. I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna use this and it's an older one of mine, but it's actually good. The Elizabeth Arden Beautiful Color Luminous Lip Gloss. And it's in like a pinky shade. It smells really good too. Well, that is my look, guys, and as you can see, I didn't do completely bad, but I did pretty good, considering I haven't done makeup in two days. Hmm. Well, I will see you guys in my next video. My next video, I will be doing some reviewing. Um, a co-worker co that I used to work with, she now moved. She sells Rodan and Fields, and she's sending me a mini facial. So, thank you, Sophia. And, um, yeah, I'm going to be doing that. I'm going to be reviewing it for you guys and doing a little favor for her as well. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good day.